is Hot Talk is Tech, and today I have an amazing video I want to show you guys on how you can customize the status bar on your iPhone. Now, this is actually a video I made probably about a year ago, but it only worked on iOS 9, I think it was, maybe it was two years ago, and oh my gosh, that trick I absolutely loved on my iPhone. All my friends would ask about it, and I'd show them how to do it, but on iOS 11 and 12, Apple actually removed the feature. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get that back on iOS 12, and that is the ability to change the carrier signal on your iPhone. Let's get started. All right, guys. So in this video, I just want to give a huge, 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 huge shout out to Apple Hacks. I'm going to have his YouTube channel down below in the description because he is the legend who found this. He actually built an entire website filled with amazing web clips. It's unlike anything I've seen before and originally actually didn't want to make a video on the website mainly because I didn't even know what it did. But oh my gosh, this website's mind blowing. I'm so shocked about like all the cool stuff it has. So I'm only going to be showing you one feature on the website right now, but I'm going to be making other videos in the future on what other possibilities you can do on this website. So you're going to want to tap on the download button and you're going to want to tap on the allow button. So it's going to basically install a profile on your iPhone. Go ahead and tap on install. I'm not going to do this basically because I've already done it on my iPhone. So if you did encounter an issue on iOS 12, just go ahead and navigate to profiles and device management. And then you'll see a little tab up top. I noticed this on my plus device running iOS 12. Go ahead and tap on install. You'll know exactly what it looks like. It looks a little different. So go ahead and tap on install if you encounter the issue. Now, if you don't, just go ahead and open up the web clip or mobile config on your iPhone. And then from here, go ahead and navigate to the Apple internal category. So this is where everything gets really cool. So in this video, I'm only going to be showing you one specific feature. It's called Wi-Fi logo. So go ahead and tap on it and then tap on allow. And once you've tapped on allow, it's going to take you to your settings and it's going to install a profile. So tap on install and you're going to see my Wi-Fi logo is normal. But once you tap on install, it's going to change to the negative symbol back to what it basically used to do on iOS 9. Now, real quick, if you do not know, back on iOS 9, it actually would do the signal for your carrier logo. In this video, I'm doing it for Wi-Fi. It's a little bit different. I think it's actually more cooler just because the number updates more often rather than having the three Wi-Fi bars. I think it's just a really cool way to customize your iPhone status bar. Now, before you get really excited and you think this video is all great and all, I just want to mention something. This does not work on iOS 12.1.2. I do really apologize for that. Um, hopefully this will be updated soon. I think it will be. It's just a matter of time. So if you are looking forward to this, make sure you keep your iOS device on the same version of iOS. But, 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 before you get all mad and angry, you are able to downgrade to a compatible version with this software. So look up a tutorial on how to downgrade to iOS 12.1. So make sure you check that out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Huge, huge, huge shout out to Apple Hacks. And as always, peace.